you so much. It is such a great pleasure to join you today. Um, Your Excellency Ambassador to Boston, Colonel Adams, uh, Colonel South, your soldiers of the Regional Command East. Um, I'm very happy today uh, to join you all together with my staff, together with my husband, another colonel, but within the reserve forces of the Kosovo Security Force, which you've all helped uh, with. Uh, but most importantly, as acting president of the Republic of Kosovo and as commander in chief of the Kosovo Security Force, it is truly a great pleasure to be here with you on this special Christmas Eve. This time of the year, always brings joy and cheer, but it's also a time of reflection. We cherish our blessings, and we look forward to the excitement and opportunities of the new year. And when we reflect on this incredibly challenging year that has passed, I want us all to think about the lessons and also the positives that we've taken from the infamous 2020. For me, these unprecedented times have proven most more that we are stronger if we stand together, and indeed, the true value of friendship. The United States has been a long time and a dedicated friend of Kosovo, and I know it will continue to be so. This year, Kosovo marked the 21st anniversary of freedom and the 12th year of its statehood, and no one better understands the importance of living in a free and secure country than the people of Kosovo. The importance of a country where political and civil liberties are guaranteed for all without distinction. The military uniform has been a lifelong dream for many young people in Kosovo. And I am sure that it is one's great honor to serve in its homeland. Today, the Army of Kosovo is our great pride. The support we've received from the United States in its formation has also been invaluable. The establishment of our very own armed forces would not have been possible without your backing through training, development, and equipment. Our two armies have formed partnerships on issues ranging from logistics to intelligence. You have helped us stand on our own feet. And in particular, I want to highlight the remarkable work of the Iowa Kosovo National Guard Partnership, which will reach its 10-year anniversary early next year. This has been a pivotal for our goal of developing the Kosovo Security Force and fostering even stronger relations between our two countries. The partnership has been working closely with our government to ensure we are in a position to defend our precious territory and one day perhaps even join you to defend peace and security elsewhere. I am convinced that with your support, we will be able to return in the near future with the news that Kosovo too has become an exporter of security in peacemaking and peacekeeping missions in the region and beyond. It goes without saying, but it is also worth reiterating, that your commitment to our country's freedom and integrity has been extremely important in maintaining peace, security, and stability in Kosovo and around the Balkans. For this, we are eternally grateful, and this will continue to be the foundation on which our friendship gets stronger as Kosovo prepares to join international organizations and NATO in particular. American support, and specifically the support of the American Army, has enabled Kosovo to become the free and independent nation that it is today. I want to thank you all for that and for your continued presence in Kosovo. I know it is not easy to be apart from your families, especially at Christmas. So I wanted to visit you personally and to thank you from the bottom of my heart, but on behalf of each and every citizen of Kosovo and as acting president, to express our gratitude on behalf of all our people. I understand you may be a long way from your families, but I have no doubt the people of Kosovo have also made you feel similar to home. We are grateful for all the sacrifices that you make by being here. Time and time again, brave men and women of the United States military have stood by our side, and this will never be forgotten. America holds a very special place also in my heart. 
but not just because of the special relationship between our countries. I had the privilege of living in Pennsylvania during my studies, and the American people welcomed me as one of their own. I attended a number of Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners with American families, and I can genuinely say that their hospitality has always made me feel like home. I'm aware that the majority of you come from Iowa, at least this is what I was told. Now, I've never had the pleasure of visiting Iowa, but I would love to. I've heard good things about your famous Red Delicious apples, and that the hockey state is not only the birthplace of the sliced bread, but also John Wayne. So I look forward to making that visit happen as soon as possible. So thank you all for having me here today. I wish you and your families good health and happiness for the year ahead. Let me finally say here, say here um, something important for every little kid that grew up in Kosovo. I grew up having one wish for every Christmas and every one year. Um, it was not similar to what kids in many places around the world had. It was a wish to be free, to feel secure. Thank you so much for granting that wish to all the kids of Kosovo. So I will be handing out Christmas cards on behalf of the presidency as a small token of our appreciation. Merry Christmas, everyone, and once again, Happy New Year. God bless you all, and God bless America. Thank you very much.